Hey everyone, uh, my name is Masood. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining about how to write an MSK case study. So what is a case study? Well, um, in, to, to briefly summarize it, um, a, a case study is just like a profile of a particular patient that you've seen. Um, it may be really interesting to document just for your own benefit. You may want to present to colleagues uh, as part of your training. You, you may want to keep it to submit as like a CPD um for uh like i don't know maybe your appraisal at work to be promoted you need to show um uh your evidence of your uh, experience and a case study is a great way to to show that another example of a case study being used is perhaps being um submitted as part of your portfolio when you're audited by the hcpc uh, which i recently have been um i think every year a couple of a small percentage of physios in the UK get audited. You have to send evidence of your portfolio and things like that. And the case study is a great way to, again, um, show what you've done and how you've treated it, uh, the, the case. So that's what a case study is. Um, how to write a case study for MSK or a musculoskeletal patient. Um, normally what I like to do is just write um, the background of the, pe of the person. So where are they from? How old they are? Um, what do they do for their living or their job? Um, subjective history of what you've uh, taken. I won't list all of the different points, but if you look at the video description, I've, li I've listed an example of one that I've just made up. Um, it will give you an idea of, you know, everything that you kind of should include. So subjective history, uh, background subjective history, objective um, history or assessment, what, what you're doing in a session. So how they're moving, any special tests, um, you know, having a feel, etc. Um, and then after that, you might want to come up with a problem list um, of the things that you found. Um, then a treatment plan. So what are you going to do? Uh, maybe a goal uh, that is a smart goal. So um, something that fits the, pe the person's um, lifestyle. What do they want to go back to doing? What do they want out of physio? Do they just want to get rid of the pain? Then make that clear in your goal. Um, have a look at the description again. Um, I've, I've written everything down there. So um, we've got um, background, we've got uh, subjective history, uh, objective history, uh, problem list, uh, treatment plan. And uh, I'd also include some references for evidence for your treatment. Um, whatever treatment that you're doing, uh, make sure you have some evidence to back it up. If you are using it as a case study for your own uh, reference, or if you're presenting to someone, it looks really good because obviously, you know, physio is an evidence-based uh, profession. So you need to have some evidence to clinically reason why you're doing what you're doing. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. Um, if you wanted to uh, have, read a little bit more, again, I've left a couple more links, one from Physiopedia, um, they just talk about what case studies are and when they're used. Um, it's very lengthy, but again, if you don't want to read that, just have a look at this video. And I've also left a couple of links to my own case studies that I've written. They're not to scale, um, uh, but you know, they're just something that you can just get an idea of what things to include. Um, one of them's from uni. It's just a reflection on a person I saw who had Achilles tendinopathy. And then the other one's just on someone that I've seen in my workplace um, for persistent lower back pain. Um, they're not perfect, so but they will help you out. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.